Big Swing Face! Sample this. Hi, it's Randy from Big Swing Face. Today we're going to look at the panning and location system in the Big Swing Face tenor trombone. One problem with sampled ensemble instruments is the need to place each virtual player in a different spot on the sound stage. This is because, needless to say, they would all be sitting in different places. One possible way to do this is using volume panning, and as you can see on contact here, we have a volume panning slider. As I play, you can hear the sound move. One problem we have with using volume panning alone is that, first of all, you don't really get much width out of your sound stage because the arrival times and frequency responses are not changing as we pan the sound. Likewise, if we want something way off to one side, we have the unnatural condition of the sound coming only out of one speaker or one ear of our headphones. A second way to do this is to embed the ambience into every sample. This would mean to record the instrument with the ambience at the same time. While realistic, we only get one location for each instrument, unless we want to record it in different positions, and any kind of programming we want to do will affect the ambience in a negative way. A third way that we're going to do today is to use convolution to create the correct reflection patterns and early reflections to make an instrument sound like it's in a particular place. The way to access this is to press the clams virtual stage tab at the bottom of the instrument. You will see a picture of the stage, the actual stage where these impulses were recorded. The location button turns on the first part of the impulse response which governs location from left to right and front to back. The early reflection button turns on the next 30 or so milliseconds giving us more of the ambience of the room and more clues to the distance from the sound. And the ambience button turns on the full reverb, which you can select from room, studio, or theater. Um, and you have independent levels for early reflections and ambience. Now let's listen to the sound move around the stage as I select different stage locations with the buttons. You can hear the sound move around as I'm playing because the impulse pattern changes from each button as well as the early reflection pattern. There might be a slight dropout as you switch from one location to another. This is because it has to load a different impulse response. This might mean that simulating players running around the stage might be difficult with this system. Now let's listen to a simple arrangement with the clamp system turned off and then turned on. Now let's engage the clam system, early reflections and location for each instrument and listen to the same arrangement. We will also pan all of them to center since volume panning is irrelevant now. So that's the CLAM system, or Convolution Location Ambience Modeling System. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.